given that 2 log base 4 of 2x plus 3 is equal to 1 plus log base 4 of x plus log base 4 of 2x minus 1, where x is greater than a half, we need to show that 4x squared minus 16x minus 9 is equal to 0. So I want to get rid of these logarithms. In order for me to do that, I first want to put all of them on one side. So I'm going to subtract them from both sides, which is going to give me 2 log base 4 of 2x plus 3 minus the log base 4 of the x minus the log base 4 of the 2x minus 1. And then that 1 there is still on the right hand side. Now using some laws of logarithms I'm going to bring these together. First of all I need to deal with this 2. So I'm going to move that to be a power up here. Next, I'm going to use the subtraction law. So I'm going to rewrite these. Let's just focus on these first two terms here to begin with, and then we'll worry about this over here in a second. So these first two terms become log base 4 of the 2x plus 3 all squared, all divided by the x. And then when I use the subtraction law again, I'm then going to do all of this divided by the 2x minus 1. Which is going to bring the 2x minus 1 down here. And we've now combined all of those logarithms together as a single logarithm. I can now remove that logarithm. So if I do, it's log base 4, so I need to do 4 to the power on both sides. So on the left-hand side, I've just removed the logarithm. So I'm just going to be left with everything that was on the inside there. And on the right-hand side, I've got 4 to the power of the 1. Which is just 4. Right, carrying on up here now. I'm going to get rid of these the fraction by multiplying both sides. By x times 2x minus 1. So bringing this up here, multiplying. Expand the bracket, so the 2x squared is 4x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x, but we'll have two of them. And the 3 squared is 9. On the right-hand side, the 4x times 2x is 8x squared. And the 4x times the minus 1 is minus 4x. Subtract 4x squared from both sides. Subtract 12x from both sides and subtract the 9 from both sides. And this was what we needed to show. Right, we can now move to part B where it says, hence, solve the equation. Well, hence, we've shown previously that this equation is exactly the same as this equation. So I'm going to solve the quadratic instead, so that's easier. So solving this quadratic, I'm going to factorise. So I've got the 4x um, squared. So I think I'm going to need a 2x and an x uh, so it's, um, 
the 2x and a 2x rather to give the 4x squared. Then I think I'm going to need either a 3 and a 3 or a 1 and a 9 to get the 9. I'm going to try the 1 and the 9. And I think if that's a minus 9 and that's a plus 1. Let's check that. 2x times 2x gives the 4x squared. Oops. The 1 times the minus 9 gives the minus 9. And crucially, the 2x times the minus 9 gives minus 18x. Plus the 2x does make the minus 16x. So I have factorised that correctly. Which means that x will either equal minus 1 half... or 9 over 2. And then we should always double check with these questions to make sure that they are both valid solutions. We know that because we can substitute them back into the original equation. And as long as we don't have any negatives inside the logarithms, then it's fine. This looks like it's going to cause a problem. The minus 1 half. I can't put that in here. I can't have log of minus one half. This is not a valid solution, which also makes sense considering they've told us that x has to be greater than a half. But the nine over two is absolutely fine. You can substitute nine over two into all of those logarithms and you won't get a negative, so that's fine. So the only answer to this question is nine over two. So make sure that you have Copied all of those corrections down, showing all of your working out. Here is a question for you to have a go at, so press pause. Have a go at this question. And when you're ready, press play, because I'm going to show you the answers in three, two, one. 